Need to make a product from multiple materials? Simple injection molding may not be enough for your needs. Today, you'll learn about two techniques for producing multi-material and multi-colored parts. Two-shot molding and over-molding. What are two-shot molding and over-molding? Two-shot molding, also known as dual-shot, multi-shot, or 2K molding, involves injecting two different materials in a single machining cycle. It requires a specialized molding machine that is equipped with two or more injection units. Here is how it works. The first shot is similar to standard injection molding, where the first plastic resin is injected into the mold to create a substrate. After it cools and solidifies, the mold is rotated 180 degrees to align the substrate in a new cavity position for the second injection. Once the second layer cools, the final part is ejected. This technique allows engineers to create multi-material and multi-colored parts without additional machining steps. This molding process is utilized in various applications that require combinations of different materials. For instance, in automotive injection molding, molded-in buttons on a steering wheel often feature a softer texture compared to the rest of the wheel. In medical injection molding, dental guards are commonly produced using two-shot molding, where the frame is made from a harder plastic, and the biting area is crafted from a softer material. As for overmolding, this process combines a rigid base substrate with a pliable outer layer of material, such as thermoplastic elastomer, TPE, or liquid silicone rubber, LSR. It begins with molding the substrate, typically using a more rigid material as the base. The substrate is then placed in an overmold cavity within the same molding tool. Next, molten secondary material is molded onto or around the substrate. After cooling, the two materials bond either mechanically or chemically, resulting in a unified end product. Unlike two-shot molding, overmolding can use standard injection molding machines, which makes it more versatile and accessible. Overmolding is commonly used to create plastic parts with rubber handles. For instance, it involves forming a plastic base layer and then adding a rubber top layer to enhance grip, such as on a toothbrush. Now that we've learned how these two injection molding techniques work, let's examine their pros and cons. Starting with two-shot molding, here are the pros. First, it significantly enhances product performance. It enables combining different materials and colors to create functional and attractive final products. Second, it improves the aesthetic appeal of products. As this technique can incorporate multiple colors or materials, making them more attractive to consumers. Third, it can improve product quality. Compared to overmolding processes, two-shot molding reduces misalignments, preventing defects, and enhancing overall product quality. Lastly, you cannot ignore the cost effectiveness it brings. Even though it involves a two-phase process, two-shot molding uses only one machining cycle. The initial mold is rotated out of the way, making room for the second material. This efficiency means fewer costs and labor requirements, allowing for the production of more items in a shorter time. When it comes to the drawbacks of two-shot molding, cost is a significant factor. The initial tooling costs for two-shot injection molding can be high because it requires two or more tooling, which can drive up initial costs. Additionally, it requires a specialized injection molding machine, further increasing the overall cost. Moving on to overmolding. Similar to two-shot molding, one major benefit of overmolding is better product performance. Products made through overmolding combine the best qualities of two materials to improve overall performance. Another advantage is increased aesthetic appeal. Overmolding helps create visually appealing products in various colors and materials. It also enables modifications for different surface finishes, further enhancing cosmetic appearance. Additionally, overmolding eliminates the need for fasteners and adhesives since separate pieces can merge directly. This improves product durability and reduces overall production costs. As for the drawbacks of overmolding, one is the multiple production steps involved. Overmolding requires two processes in the production line, which increases cycle time and production costs. It also necessitates the use of more equipment compared to single molding processes. Another potential issue is debonding. When two separate pieces are fused together, there's a risk of delamination if the ideal temperature range fluctuates. To prevent this, mechanical interlocks are needed when the available heat cannot properly fuse the materials. Okay, you may wonder how to choose since they are two similar processes. The primary factor to consider is production volume. Two-shot molding can be more cost-effective for large-scale production, while overmolding might be more economical for small volume production. However, it is still essential to have a professional assess the specific project to ensure the right choice is made. 
At Rapid Direct, our experienced injection molding team offers free consultation services to help simplify the decision-making process. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. That wraps up our video comparing two similar injection molding processes, two-shot molding and over-molding. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more manufacturing tips and tutorials. See you next time. Let me know if you need any further assistance.